Hello everyone, in this class we will study about the leukocytes. The leukocytes are also called as white blood corpuscles or simply the white blood cells of the blood. They are colorless and they defend the body against diseases by fighting against infections, malignants, etc. Leukocytes are classified mainly as a granulocytes and granulocytes or non-granulocytes. Amongst granulocytes, neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, the neutrophils makes the most of it that is 60 to 70 percent of the total leukocytes. Eosinophil between 1 to 4 percent and basophil less than 1 percent. Among granulocytes, lymphocytes uh, forms 20, 25 to 30 percent of all the total leukocytes and monocytes 2 to 8 percent. Lymphocytes, they can be classified as a large and small lymphocytes based on their size. These are the uh, granulocytes and these are the agranulocytes. The granulocytes are the neutrophil, basof neutrophil basophil and eosinophils whereas agranulocytes they are mainly the monocyte and the mostly the lymphocytes. The neutrophil uh, size is around 12 to 12 microns. They have a multilobular and they have both acidophilic and basophilic granules whereas, whereas uh, the basophil are bilobed structures they have a coarse uh, basophilic granules whereas uh, eosinophilic having a uh, bilobed nucleus having coarse brick red granules in them whereas monocytes and lymphocytes they are granulocytes. Classification Neutrophil normal count is around 5400 cells per cubic millimeter of blood, can range between 3 to 6000. The size is around 10 to 14 microns. They are they're called as first line of defense mechanism. Nucleus in neutrophil is multi lobe. Cytoplasm contains fine pink granules, both acidophilic as well as basophilic. basophilic. The important function of uh, the neutrophil are phagocytosis and they contain a fewer producing substance endogenous pyrogen. Neutrophilia is where there is increase in the neutrophil count. Some of the important causes are acute infections particularly bacterial infection following tissue destruction, pregnancy, menstruation and lactation neutrophilia occurs. Neutrophilia is a decrease in the neutrophil count. Some of the causes are viral infection, typhoid fever and bone marrow depression. Eosinophil. Normal count is around 275 cells per cubic millimeter of blood. It can range between 150 to 300. Size is around 10 to 14 micrometer in diameter. It is slightly larger than a neutrophil. Nucleus is bilobed. Cytoplasm contains coarse brick red granules. Some of the Functions of eosinophil are during allergic conditions eosinophils are collected at the site and limits the intensity of inflammation by degrading the effects of uh, inflammatory mediators. It leads also to mild phagocytosis. Eosinophilia is a condition where there is increased in the eosinophil count. It can occur in allergic conditions like bronchial asthma, parasitic infestation like hookworm. Eosinophilia is decrease in the eosinophil count. It can happen after the injection of corticosteroids and acute pyogenic infections. Basophil. Normal count is around 35 cells per cubic millimeter of blood. Can range from 0 to 100. The size is 10 to 14 micro, microns. Slightly uh, smaller than the, the neutrophil. There is a S-shaped nucleus. Cytoplasm contains coarse bluish black granules which may mask the nucleus sometime. Some of the important functions of basophil are they are mildly phagocytic, they are responsible for inflammatory changes and they liberate histamine and heparin. Basophilia is a condition where there is increase in the basophil count can happen uh, chickenpox, tuberculosis and influenza. Basophilia is a condition where there can be decrease in the basophil count it can happen after the administration of glucocorticoids and it can happen during drug-induced reactions. 
monocytes normal count is around 540 cells per cubic millimeter of blood can range between 300 to 600 the size is larger that is around 10 to 18 microns and they are called as second line of defense mechanism there will be a kidney shaped nucleus and is placed uh, eccentrically some of the important functions of monocytes they are uh, ac active phagocytic cells and all the tissue macrophages come from monocytes they synthesize prostaglandin E and clot promoting factors they kill tumor cells monocytosis is a condition where there is increase in the monocyte it can happen occur in tuberculosis or syphilis and monocytopenia is a condition where there is a decrease in the monocyte count it can happen in uh, hypoplastic bone marrow lymphocytes normal count is around 2750 cells per cubic millimeter of blood can range between 1500 to 4000 and the large lymphocytes the size is around 10 to 14 microns and small lymphocytes 7 to 10 micro microns the similar as that of rbc nucleus of lymphocyte is round oval and central in position some of the important functions of lymphocytes that they produce antibodies lymphocytosis can occur uh, that is the condition where the lymphocyte count is increased uh, it can happen in lymphocytic leukemia viral infection and tuberculosis whereas lymphocyto lymphopenia the reduced number of lymphocyte can occur in hypoplastic bone marrow and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome that is hiv infection different steps of phagocytosis so initially there will be margination in the area of infection the neutrophil gets attached to the capillary endothelium then diapedesis occurs where neutrophils and monocytes can squeeze through pore of blood vessels a process called as diapedesis then there can be chemotaxis where bacterial products interact with the plasma proteins and they produce chemotactic agents which attract neutrophil to the site of infection this is called as chemotaxis chemotactic agents are components of complement system leukotrienes polypeptides from the lymphocytes basophils and mast cells opsonization opsonins are antibodies against bacteria these antibodies cover the bacteria along with the uh, the complement uh, component of complementary system a process called as opsonization then phagocytosis this coated bacteria attaches to receptors on neutrophil and they are engulfed by a neutrophil by endocytosis then the, then there will be a degranulation inside the neutrophil it becomes a phagosome or phagocytic vacuole granules of neutrophil move towards phagocyto phagocytic vacuole and discharge its content into it and kills the bacteria during this nadph oxidation oxidase system is activated and there is a sharp increase in the oxygen uptake and metabolism which is called as respiratory burst with a generation of superoxide and superoxide radical and hydrogen peroxide free radical superoxide and uh, hydrogen peroxide both oxidants and react to form hydroxyl radical a potent bacterial cidal agent this diagram showing different phases of phagocytosis initially there will be marginalization of the neutrophilic cells so then there will be increase in the, per, uh, the capillary permeability because of which the neutrophils mainly they squeeze through the capillary membrane the process which is called as diapedesis then the some of the chemo actin pro sub substance produced by the bacteria they are going to cause the attraction of the neutrophils the process is called as uh, uh, chemotaxis so then these new uh, these neutrophils they are going to uh, phagocytosize the uh, the bacteria uh, with the help of uh, opsonization
granulocytosis. It, it, it is nothing but the decrease in the granulocyte count. Mild leukemia is presence of immature WBCs in the circulation. Lymphocytosis is increase in the lymphocytes seen in chronic infections, viral infection and lymphomas. Leukocytopenia is nothing but the decrease in the WBC count and leukemias are nothing but the uncontrolled product production of WBCs caused by cancerous mutation of myelogenous or lymphogenous cells. Arnit count. Arnit count is the count of neutrophils according to the number of lobes present in their nuclei. Number of lobes in the nuclei of neutrophil increases with the age. In circulation, if there are more neutrophils with less lobes, it means more young cells are there and vice versa. <coughs> when there are more young cells, it indicates the increased rate of production and more old cells means decreased rate of production. These may be due to the different diseases and can be diagnosed by Ernest count. Ernest count is nothing but the counting of the lobes. Uh, normally there will be 3 to 4 lobes will be there and as the number of lobes increases the unit count curve shifts to the left side when the number of lobes is going to increase the the curve shifts to the right side when the curve shifts to the right side it means they have more number of lobules uh, uh, nuclear lobules in them that's about the WBCs and their important functions. Thank you.